Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's 10 o'clock on October the 7th, 2021. Kind of warm, kind of humid out there. We do points in the low 60s. Uh, and uh, we have temperatures in the mid 60s. Uh, and uh, it was kind of a warm day today across the area. Let's take a look at what our high temperatures were today. Uh, because uh, it got kind of uh, got up there. Uh, surprisingly, at least it felt warmer than uh, what these ties are saying. But 75 in Carl Place, 75 Farmdale, 75 in Islip. That is 7 degrees above normal. 73 in Shirley, 73 in West Hampton, 79 at LaGuardia, 75 at JFK, 73 in Central Park for a high. Let's look at New Jersey. 78 at Lakehurst. So, yeah, pretty warm there. But if you were along the shore, it was a little cooler. Uh, let's take a look at our satellite here. Uh, and you will see here... Uh, the clouds that we're dealing with and you can see this little area this area of disturbed weather off the south there uh it doesn't really show much of the daytime here this loop uh, i'll have to show you this at modus uh but you can see definitely we had a lot of cumulus pop up today so it wasn't all that clear um and then we had winds light westerly to northwesterly winds becoming south so that warmed things up uh you can see uh this is kind of symbolic of a moist air mass Looks like Cape Cod actually had some clear skies, but for us, as that moisture got over the land and got heated, it uh, popped up in these cumulus and stratocumulus clouds that we had today. So, not, again, not really that clear of a day today, unfortunately, across our area. Uh, let's look at the NHC. We still have this area here. This is the disturbance that's being watched here for a 20% chance of cyclone formation off the southeast coast. Uh, this is the disturbance right here you are looking at right here. And if we... Uh, it doesn't really show the invest here. doesn't have anything for the invest. Uh, but if we look at the tropical here, uh, Caribbean here, you'll see. Uh, uh, yeah, you can sort of see it over here a little bit over here. Uh, let's see if Tidbits has anything on this. Uh, uh, I don't know if they've got an invest. Is this, is this the invest? This is the invest right here. So this is invest 92L. So this is the invest uh, that we have to watch here off the southeast coast for possible development of something perhaps and if you look at the models here it kind of takes it into um into north carolina a little bit there it's a very weak system uh you'll see when we look at the models uh what's going to happen so again we've got this high here you see more of the southwesterly flow that's where we were warmer today uh and you can see another high is trying to build down at the same time this low is trying to get itself together off the carolinas so this is going to result in a tight pressure gradient and a raw weekend and we'll have to watch for the possible chance of rain for the weekend um and then it finally moves away and then we have uh drying uh but other than that, it's still going to be above normal for this week if we look at our temperature anomalies uh for the week ahead you'll see we are well above normal here uh, and we're going to continue with that above normal trend uh, right through the uh, middle of the month, perhaps. Maybe as we get toward the end of the month, it'll finally get better. So let's take a look at the HRRR model, and we're going to look at the 0Z HRRR, and let's take a look and see what we have going on here. So you can see this high here keeps us dry for one more day, and then for Saturday we may have to watch for a scattered shower or two, just scattered, not, you know, very widely scattered, but uh, you got this damp flow coming in off. Uh, you got this squeeze play between the high and then this low uh, that's going to bring the moisture in. Uh, so if we look at the dew points uh, on this, you'll see, again, the dew points, uh, we start off with the uh, we, winds go a little more easterly tomorrow, uh, which means it might be a little cooler tomorrow. You can see you got dry air, and then, but just to the south, you have damp air. So it all depends on how far that we can get this dry air in to block this humi the moisture and the rain from coming, coming in. And right now, it's just too early to tell uh, in regards to this. We can also look at the GFS as well, showing those easterly winds developing as we head into the weekend. Uh, and unfortunately, it looks like it gets humid again. Uh, and let's look at the temperatures now on the GFS here for your friday uh and you'll see here it'll be another warm one i guess uh though i would think that onshore flow would keep it a little cooler uh but i guess we'll still see away from the coast probably mid to upper 70s uh mild night again saturday not as warm because we have the cloud cover so only 60s same thing for sunday only uh, upper 60s probably and then boom we're right back into the warmth again for monday and tuesday again so uh let's look at the sky here 
And you will see here uh, that we'll see uh, trying to fight these clouds back tomorrow. Um, uh, probably have a decent amount of clouds around. And then obviously plenty of clouds for your weekend. And then maybe some sunshine by Monday. But uh, again, expect plenty of clouds. Tomorrow is your last day that's really going to have some sunshine in it. Although there'll be it'll be mixed with probably quite a few clouds. Uh, and then Saturday we'll have mostly cloudy conditions. And then we have to watch again for the chance of rain. Uh, now we do have a NAM 12 we could use and see how far that goes out. Uh, I don't have the zero Z in yet for that, but uh, we can look at this and see uh, if that brings any of the rain into the area. Really, uh, most of the rain avoids the area. I mean, if you look at the NAM total accumulated precip on the, it's very little. So if that high can block a lot of that precipitation from coming in. At least it might be a cloudy weekend, but at least it won't be a rainy one. So I have to see. It's going to be a squeeze play for sure. Um, but uh, until I have more models, it's really going to be hard to really say exactly what's going to happen. But I can't tell you tomorrow will be our last like day you'll see the sun, and then it'll be back into the gloom for the weekend. We, we did see the sun today, although there was a lot of clouds. We did see it at least. So... I think that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thanks for watching.